good morning students once again i welcome you to my video lectures on control systems and uh, in the last class i explained what is uh, angle criterion and uh, what is magnitude criterion angle criterion as well as magnitude criterion are to be satisfied for a point to be on the root locus and uh, with the example with the, with the with the help of four examples i explained uh, um, the angle criterion as well as magnitude criterion next next we have to search now as you know that for a point to be on the root locus we have to search the point but searching the points on the s plane so i can't uh, take too many trials so trials are to be reduced so with minimum trials i should be able to find the location of the points so for that one has to go through what are known as guides guides for rapid plotting if you understand these guides you can reduce the number of trials and i, I am going to give you proof for us for most of the guides one or two guides I, am, i may not be giving you proof because that is going to kill the interest of root locus so today you know i will take up one by one these guidelines we have to follow the first guide the first guide is in this form the first guide i will give the first guide now coming to the first guideline the root locus will have as many loci means branches as there are number of poles of open loop transfer function that is gshs gshs is called open loop transfer function so count the number of poles of gshs and that much number of branches or loci are going to be there we have seen previously for example gshs equals k over s into s plus 6 so in this example there are two poles s equal to 0 and s equal to 6 therefore the number of branches uh, uh, the root locus will have is 2 2 s yes, s is 1 s equal to 0 is one pole s equal to minus 6 is another pole the number of poles is 2 the number of zeros that is the in the numerator we don't have any uh, zeros therefore the number of poles is 2 therefore root locus will have will have two branches next example gshs equals k by s cube now here there are three poles s equal to 0 repeated thrice so root locus will have three branches so i will give proof for this guide in the next guide so in guide number 2 i will give proof for this so for the for the time being you remember the root locus will have as many loci as there are number of poles of open loop transfer function that is gshs now i will proceed to um, to the next guideline now now the second guide root locus originate at the poles of gshs that is open loop transfer function with k equal to 0 and terminate at zeros of gshs or at infinity with k equal to infinity so root locus where do they originate where do they terminate in that information is given in this guideline i will give proof of this so they always originate at poles of gshs with k equal to 0 starting value of k is 0 and terminate at zeros of gshs with k equal to infinity so last value for k is infinity and in case zeros are not there then the root locus branches will terminate at infinity with k equal to infinity i will give proof for this i will give proof for this now look into the proof first first let us assume that open loop transfer function is given so open loop transfer function is given as 
equal to GSHS equal to K. So product terms, product terms, I is equal to 1 to 1 to M, I is equal to 1 to M, S plus Z1, S plus Z2, etc, etc, Z plus S plus Zm. Zm divided by divided by pi product j equal to 1 to n s plus p1 s plus p2 etc 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 s plus pn s plus pn now first let us assume that gshs is given in factorist form numerator factors s plus z1 s plus z2 etc etc s plus zm that is there are m number of zeros in the denominator product j equal to 1 to n that is s plus p1 s plus p2 etc etc s plus pn there are n number of poles there are n number of poles now we have to prove that the root locus originate originate at poles with k equal to 0 and terminate at zeros uh, with k equal to infinity now now, write characteristic equation. What is characteristic equation? Characteristic equation is 1 plus GSHS equal to 0. Now, if you write characteristic equation, now 1 plus K pi i is equal to 1 to m s plus Zm divided by divided by pi j equal to 1 to m s plus pn s plus pn equal to 0 equal to 0 now now taking lcm and uh, if you and if you write 1 plus not 1 plus pi pi j equal to 1 to n s plus pn s plus pn plus k k pi i equal to 1 to 1 to m s plus zm equal to 0 call this as equation number 1 call this as equation number 1 now 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 in this equation in this equation take k equal to 0 take k equal to 0 if you take k equal to 0 then this term becomes 0 this term becomes 0 we are left with we are left with product j equal to 1 to n s plus p n equal to 0 0 therefore what are p1 minus p1 minus p2 minus p3 etc minus p n they are all they are all poles of gshs they are all poles of gshs therefore the root locus originate at poles of GSHS with k equal to 0. So, I, I showed it, they originate at poles equal to 0. Next, next is I can write this equation, this equation as, as, as. now I will, what I will do, I will divide throughout by k. If I divide throughout by k, I will going to get 1 by k pi j equal to 1 to n s plus p n plus product i is equal to 1 to m s plus z m equal to 0. Now take k equal to infinity. If you take k equal to infinity then in the denominator of k equal to infinity means this term becomes 0. We are left with this. So we are left with the numerator part of GSHS. The numerator part of GSHS. Therefore, pi i is equal to 1 to m s plus z m equal to 0. Equal to 0. Therefore, therefore, the k equal to infinity means termination. Termination of the root locus. So, root locus terminates at z1, z2, z3, etc. What are these? Z minus z1, minus z2, minus z3, etc. Because s plus zm equal to 0 is a factor. 
Therefore, S equal to minus Zn. That is at the poles, not, not poles, zeros, exist at minus Z1, minus Z2, minus Z3, etc. Therefore, with K equal to infinity, the root locus terminate at the, pole, the zeros of GSHS. That is at minus Z1, minus Z2, etc, etc, etc. This is guide number 2. So, in this guide, I have also given proof for guide 1. Now, in the next class, I will take up guide number 3. Thank you.